Ellie Jensen is the co-host of the Discovery Plus podcast and docu-series called Unraveled, Long Island Serial Killer. He is joining us live tonight and has been following this case very closely. Billy, appreciate you taking some time. Uh, this, as I said a moment ago, is a very, very complicated case and investigation with allegations of corruption behind the scenes over the last decade. Uh, do you believe that this new task force that has now been formed has the evidence that it needs to catch this serial killer? I do. Yes, I definitely do. You know, we had what we did, me and my partner Alexis on Unraveled, we investigated the investigation. And early on in the investigation, they had a new chief of police named James Burke. Burke kicked out the FBI, which sounds insane. Um, and the reason why he did it was because his administration was corrupt and he didn't want the Fed sniffing around. So this is really the first time that a new administration has come in uh, since that happened a decade ago and said, we're going to pull out all the stops here. And this is the first task force that's been created, bringing back the FBI in, but also bringing in the state. You've got, you know, uh, Chief Harrison is doing a, a great job in making this a priority. And also the DA, who's, also, who's new, Ray Tierney, they both said that they want to get this thing solved. Well, the other thing, Billy, is authorities say that they're going to be using some new techniques. Do we know what that means? Is that DNA? Because that's been around a while. Yeah, there's there are certain uh, techniques that they can use. You know, uh, when they showed that belt and they said that they believe the belt was used by the killer. And uh, there is not, you know, there could be uh, multiple killers, but um, there's new techniques in terms of how to grab uh, touch DNA, um, that is not necessarily just, you know, DNA from a rape kit. Uh, you can use a, a machine called an MVAC that can kind of, uh, you know, it's like a vacuum for DNA, and then you split up from there. It's a lot harder to do. It's a lot harder to process. You might get a lot of, of samples, but it is one way to do it. And there's also, the, I know they've been combing through a lot of uh, data when it comes to cell phone records. And those are the sort of the two big places, I think, when they're talking about new technology. Well, and then talking about the cell phone records, um, some experts have called this killer modern, methodical. Um, how much have police been able to gather from the killer's phone calls? He was taunting family members of his victims. Yeah, you know, when he called up and he made numerous phone calls um, attempting to uh, uh, just, you know, taunt the victim. So, you know, we don't know that much about this guy. You could always do a profile and profiles came out very early saying, you know, this guy is like a lot of the profiles said, you know, he's 20 to 40 years old. He probably has a girlfriend or a wife, this or that. When it comes down to it is, is that uh, profile is not really going to solve this case. So what's going to solve the case is the evidence that they already have. And they do have a bunch of it. And you alluded to this earlier. Are they looking for one person or potentially more? Uh, definitely potentially more. You know, the, the Gilgo Four, I think, is, is one person or it could be a group of people, but they're all involved in the same killings. Those are the four that were initially found. But you also had bodies that were found in uh, two and found in Manorville and also body parts found close to that location. So there is a big debate on whether it's one killer or uh multiple killers. So they're just going to go wherever the evidence takes us. And it's really good news that they're doing this. It's a long time coming. Yeah. And 11 years is, is a lot of time. Are they saying much about potentially more victims? Not so far, no. And, uh, you know, these victims, occasionally you'll hear about a case come up and say maybe this could be related to Long Island serial killer. But, you know, they, they have enough victims on their hands right now and they've got enough evidence. They just got to follow it. Uh, I know that the family is hoping that this gives them the answers that they need. Billy Jensen, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.